Okay, so then, are you ready? Uh, I hope nasa part na kayo ng bahay ninyo na malakas ang internet connection. Prepare your notebook and ball pen for taking down notes and prepare yourself. So, as I promised last yes. ano, last session, <laughs> so we will I announce today, uh, we will announce today the Earth and Life Science uh, students, teachers, and school for week 4 and 5. So, let me start yes. with week 4. The Metamorphism and Formation Ignatius Rock. Congratulations to the following teachers of the week. Yeah, and salamat Sir, Sir Leo P. Angel of Aurora Senior High School, Isabela. Ma'am Irma Vanessa Manuel, Alibadbad National High School, Isabela. Ma'am Gigi P. Wasim of Luis F. Gomez Yamantina National High School. And Ma'am Mary Jane Camayo, Lalawana National Senior High School, Isabela. And Isabela, ayan. And for the schools of the week, Kaibiga High School, Kalaakan City, Along Gisan National High School of Along Gisan Sabu. Daniel Aranginaldo National Ayan. High School, Davao City, Davao del Sur. Ito yung suking suking natin na sir. And Los yes. Amigos National High School of Davao City, Davao del Sur. Meron din tayo dyan sa Libadbad National High School, San Mariano. Doña Magdalena H. Gafud High School of Pechaga. Luis F. F. Gomez, Jamantina National High School of Cabatuan, Lalawanan High School of Tumawini, and Dinapige National High School, Isabela. Ay, meron pa, continuation. Yes. Schools of the Week, Lenanti National High School of Urdaneta City, uh, City Pangasinan. Godofredo Reyes Senior National High School of Ragay Camarines Sur. Yan, di ko pa yan nakita. And the students of the week, Daphne, Mikaela, Daniel, Justin, Nicole, and RJ. For the best students of the week, we have Bernie, Shekina, and Luigi. Congratulations ang usay mga okay. ELS. Ayan, of course. Opo. Thank you, Tutor Jules. And of course, we would also like to acknowledge and say congratulations sa ating mga husay na mga partners or learning partners for last week naman ito, Tutor Jules. Week number five, we discussed about the plate tectonics, formation of rock layers, and relative and absolute dating. And our teachers of the week, uh, of course, we have... Apo, yan, si Sir, Sir Leo P. Angels. Uh, Tutor Jules, ano pala, uh, ang pangalan niyo pala talaga ay Sir Leo. So kakabit pala ng pangalan niya yung Sir Leo. <laughs> Kaya, oh, Sir Leo ko, talaga, ay, Sir. Uh, no, Sir Leo ang pangalan. I'm watching right now, Sir Leo. Hello po, good afternoon. Thank you for our uh, being our learning partner. Ayan, so of course, Tutor Jen. Tutor Jen Pepito of Daniel R. Aguinaldo, the National High School from Davao City. Uh, ating mga bagong kaibigan din from Isabela, si Ma'am Gemaline C. Fronda from Jones Rural School at ang kasamahan niyang si Ma'am Ivy Pfizer C. Gabehat. Good afternoon po and salamat. For our ELS Schools of the Week, for week number five, of course, ang suking-suking natin from uh, the, the home school of Tutor Juice, Kaibiga High School, Caloacan City, Metro Manila, and of course, lagi nating ka partner Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School in Davao del Sur. We also have, ayan, bagong partner natin, Aurora Senior High School from Isabela as well as Alibad si Bad National High School. Si Sir Angel, ayan, Sir Leo. Mm. <laughs> and of course, same congratulations, no, nakakatuwa. Laging very participative when I watch the replay of your session, Tutor Jules. Ito yung mga active natin na nagsumasagot at Sometimes nga nagtatanong pa sila. We have Mark Hill, Adrian, Chris Lynn, Jonet, Jemaica, Rose Ann, Kayleigh, and Dimwell. Congratulations. And our top three last week. Top three ba? Ayan, tama. Top three, ang pagbabalik. So we have Alea, Samantha, and ang nakakatuwang bata na si John Patrick. You are our ALS Students of the Week for week number five. Congratulations. Tunay na hashtag, Mahusay. Ayan. Wait lang, sir. So, parang si Arleo at saka si Samantha parang dalawang beses naging start yes. of the week. Yes. Ano? Na, so, ano talaga sila eh. Parang very outstanding ang kanilang participation last week. Kaya sila yung napili natin Ayan. for this particular week. Kita-kita sa finals ba, sir? Oo. Pwedeng ano to, sa pakwisbi natin sa last part ng ating course or ng subject. Ayan. Okay. So, let us recall the lesson we took 
uh, na session. You have learned about the movements of plates and formation of folds and folds. And the types of plate boundaries. If you can still remember uh, the type of plates boundaries. Wait lang po. So, for the attendance, uh, please type number one for the first uh, type of plate boundary. Number one, based from the picture. Number two, number three. So, one, two, three, from left to right po ha. Nakalimutan kong gagyan. So, let me check the attendance Ababa, first. Yeah. Hello from ano, San Roque Central Elementary School. Ay, may elementary din. Yes. <laughs> may may <laughs> nanonood na elementary. Yes, hello, Janet. From uh, Kaibiga, sila una na una. And then, who else? From grade 11, Octorium Gas, Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School, Davao City. Hello po. Yeah, good then, afternoon. From Jamaica de la Cruz of subject teacher, si Ma'am Pfizer. Ano na bang school ni Ma'am uh, Pfizer? Nakita ko kanina. Parang sa From Jones. From Isabella, yeah. Jones Rural oh, School. Oh, sa Jones. Aurora yeah. Senior High School. Uh, si ano? Si uh, teacher na si Sir Leo. Ayan, kompleto pa rin sila. Nandiyan sila. So, for the number one, oh, ayan, natapos na nila. For number one, you're right. <laughs> or pain salarda, it's divergent. Divergent. Okay, the plates moving away from each other. And then, number two is convergent. Ayan, nalitype na nila, kompleto na po. And the last one, transform. And you have learned about the formation of the rock layers. So, you have learned about the, ano, the law of stratigraphy, the law of superposition, law of cross-cutting, relationship, and the law of inclusions. Ayan. And next, we, ano, we differentiate also relative uh, dating from absolute dating. We have learned about the relative dating, which is used to identify the age of the rock. Uh, descriptive way, in a descriptive way. In numerical dating, it's uh, the absolute dating. There is a specific age of the organism or the rock. And then, for today, the most essential learning competencies, uh, the objective for this day, Explain how relative and absolute dating were used to determine the subdivisions of geologic time. Describe how the Earth's history can be interpreted from the geologic time scale. And describe the various hazards that may happen in the event of earthquakes, volcanic eruption, and landslide. Okay, start with melt, uh, melt, melt 1 and 2. So, how relative and absolute dating were used to determine the subdivisions of geologic time or geologic timeline? By the way, uh, every, uh, no, every author, they have their own way of presenting the geologic time scale. How they come up with this uh, geologic time scale? The sample is the picture in the right side. Okay, there is another, this is another way of presenting the, uh, no, the geologic time scale. Okay, it is in a spiral form. So, based from the scientists, start from the, the Big Bang up to the recent era. Okay, that is the spiral way. May kanya -kanya silang paraan. Then, we, you will learn later on. Uh, we, will, uh, we will explain it further as we go on. So, let's have the definition of geologic time scale. When we say geologic time scale, um, it is the calendar for events in the Earth's history. So, when we say calendar, it is a chart. So, how they come up with that kind of chart? It is because of the geologic record, okay? A geologic record, sample here, the picture, the trilobite. So, yung geologic record, uh, it keeps the record of the past, yeah, the evidence yes. of the past. Uh, yan yung sample dyan. Kailangan and then, po, uh, we recognize the different events, of course, very important po, no? Na Manote down, especially, of course, na ating mga geologists. And of course, para ma-document, para magamit na ating mga scientists. And of course, ating mga uh, mga educators and kayo, mga, mga students na nanonood ngayon. Yes po. And then the geologic time scale serve as a standard timeline used to describe the age of rocks, fossils, and the events that form them. So that is a standard timeline. Ayan, standard, pare-parehas dapat. Importance of the geologic time scale. So as part of the new generation, we should be appreciative and accept that all the things that are present in our time were the outcomes of the Earth's history. So what is the importance of geologic time scale? Uh, the geologic time scale can help us to uh, can can predict what will happen next, like what happened to the previous uh, no, to the previous organism, right? May mga pangyayari. Some some organism exists and some were extinct. 
Okay? There's a possibility. And then, so how they come up with that uh, geologic time scale? They apply both the relative and absolute dating. So, you know already what is relative dating and absolute dating. So, how? By studying the rock layers. So, they apply all the, ano, the law in stratigraphy. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, if you can still remember the law of, the law of, Ano na yung mga yun? Of superposition, superposition uh, yan, inclusion, cross-cutting, inclusion, and the rest. And they use also, or they study also the index fossil. Ito yung example ng index fossil. Okay? An index fossil is an a, any animal or plant preserved in the rock recorded of the earth. Yan yung example ng rock fossil. Index fossil, rather. And then, how can we differentiate relative time to absolute time? Oh, ito. In, in the relative dating and absolute dating, uh, normally, geologic time is often discussed in the two forms, the relative time and the absolute time. So, balikan natin yung relative time and absolute time. When you say relative time, it's a subdivision of the earth geology. Let's say, instead of saying... Uh, instead of saying 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock is specific, you will say uh, last time. So it is ranged from, I know, it is ranged from, uh, it, it is between breakfast and the dinner, yun, relative time. For the absolute time, ayan, is specific na siya, 12 o'clock, refers to the numerical age. Uh, it is also known as chronometric uh, time. So, there is a measurement of the time. Ito dito sa kabila, the Eon era, period, epoch, that is the relative time and the absolute time. Ito yung specific date. Okay? And here's the story of fossils. Kanto muna ako, ha? So, yan. But uh, the evaluation of this story, etong evaluation ng story na to, nasa last activity. For the activity, later on, you have to listen for this story. It's all about the story of fossils. Okay, listen. Imagine you are hiking in the woods. As you walk up a steep hill, you find a fossil. It is a mold of many tiny seashells. What would seashells be doing in the middle of the woods? Possibly yun, di ba? May mga seashells sa, ano, sa mga um, malapit na, na dun sa mga may mga po, tapos may makikita kang seashells. Then, most fossils are found in sedimentary rocks. These rocks form on the surface of the earth. They record the processes that have happened on the surface, including life. Scientists are able to arrange fossils according to age. This is called the fossil record. By studying the fossil record, scientists have found that the earth and its life forms have gone through many changes in the past. So, dalawang slide lang naman ito. Fossils have taught us how and when rock layers have formed. They have also helped scientists learn about the life forms that have come and gone. Fossils have even taught us about the climate of the earth long ago. So, they come up with the geologic time scales divided into huge block of time called eras. Eras are defined by the major chains and the fossils found in the sedimentary rock layers that were formed during those time spans. By the way, the evaluation mamaya nasa bandang ano, uh, after the discussion. So, let's have the geologic time scale. Okay? It is divided into history and its series of time intervals. So, the eon Eons, the largest interval of geologic time, and are hundreds of million years. So we have the Panerozoic Eon, the Hadean, Archean, and Pro Proterozoic. By the way, uh, from the other, ano, uh, from the other author, the Hadean, Archean, and Proterozoic, they called it the Precambrian, and then the Panerozoic Eon. And then uh, the Eon uh, divided into eras. Uh, in Panerozoic Eon is divided into three eras, the Cenozoic, Mesozoic, and Paleozoic, to be discussed further later. And then the periods. Uh, eras are subdivided into periods. Later on, we have the Permian, Pennsylvania, Mississippi. Merong mga ano, specific organism uh, na nag-exist with that uh, period. And the final subdivision, epochs. Okay? Uh, the, the periods of the Cenozoic are frequently subdivided into epochs. So, your code, Eon, uh, normally, ang code ko dito, Eo, Ear, Pep. Okay? So, Eon, Eras, Period, and Epoch. 
don't forget those. The largest, ion, and the finer subdivision or the smallest subdivision, it's epoch. So, ion. Okay, dito na tayo. So, as I've said a while ago, uh, yung Panerozoic, that, uh, the recent, and a long time ago, ito, the Hadean, Archean, and Proterozoic Eon, uh, the Precambrian period. It's the formation of the Earth. Hadean Eon is known as the formation of the Earth. And then the Archean, the Earth's crust had cooled enough to allow the formation of continents and life started. To... Diba? You, uh, back to Hadean. The formation of the uh, after the Big Bang Theory, the formation of the Earth, and then sa Archean, nag-cool down na siya. So there is a uh, ano, uh, continents and life started to form. So nagkaroon na ng formation of life. They exist, nag-exist na ang mga blue-green algae and bacteria. At nag-bloom na sila dito sa Proterozoic. So, they exist in Archean, the blue-green algae and the blue-green algae and uh, bacteria. Okay, next. Ayan. So, another information na before we proceed, no, Shooter Jules. So, as we as we go along with our discussion, manonotice ng ating mga learners na as time goes by, hanggang sa marating natin mamaya later on ng present, no, Shooter Jules, makikita natin yung ano, uh, evolution or yung development ng mga living organisms. And please take note, ha, na pag sinabi natin evolution class, it does not only pertain to mga, uh, sa mga animals or sa ating mga humans. So it also includes all other life forms, kasama dyan yung mga plants, kasama yung mga microorganisms. And sa... Uh, PowerPoint presentation na pinapakita namin, Shooter Jules, so uh, for every particular event or eon or era, uh, sa geologic time scale, makikita natin yung uh, significant event, ano nangyari on that particular time. Plus, on the rightmost part ng ating uh, diagram would be uh, a simple icon or description kung ano ba yung, to give us uh, an idea kung ano bang nangyari during that time. Oh, sige, sir, I know. Proceed na po tayo. Okay, so the Paleozoic Era. In Paleozoic Era, that is known as the Old Life, characterized by the trilobites. Ayan, nagpakita natin yung trilob trilobites. The first four-limbed vertebrate and the origin of the land plants. Ayan po. So this uh, era, the Paleozoic Era, uh, divided into periods. Anong period meron tayo dito? The Fabrian, the Embryan, animals. Okay, you know what are those invertebrates? Those uh, animals without backbone. Ano ba yung backbone. mga yun? Like, like uh, invertebrate animals. Give, exa uh, give example, the, ano nga ba, the insect, ano nga backbone, the worms, okay? And then the early bone fishes or the vision, early bone fishes. And Silurian, earliest land animals, yan. So, earliest land animals, so parang dito papasok yung mga amphibian, yan, from, ano, from, from, I know from water to land. Then Devonian, the first seed plants cartilage fish. So Devonian, ito yung aids of fishes. Yan. Aids of fishes uh, is known as the Devonian period. And then Mississippian, many crinoids. Ano ba itong mga crinoids na to? Yung mga echinoderms, right? Echinoderms, those are the sea uh, urchins. Animal, sea urchins, sea stars, and Okay. And then the Pennsylvanian, the first insect. Ayan, merong sample dyan ng insect. By the way, they known, it is also known as the Carboniferous. Why are they called Carboniferous? On this ano, uh, period, um, based from the history, nagkaroon ng yung mga, ito yung maraming carbon, coal, coal yung mga firms noon na naging coal. Ito yung ano, yes, uh, marami carbon daw deposits. Uh, uh, marami okay. daw uh, na-develop or yung ano noon, yung firm noon, na-develop into coal. Yan. Cool. Yan daw yung, yung galing dyan daw sa period na yun. And then the first reptile in the Permian. Okay, in Palizawic era, by the way, according to, ano, uh, Alfred Wegener, the proponent or who proposed the the ano, the continental drift continental theory. Drift theory. Uh, uh, sa continental drift theory. Sabi niya, um, the all the land, all the land in the earth uh, was united in one land known as Pangaea. So the that Pangea. was during the Paleozoic era. And the years in period, the Mesozoic era, oh, ito na, the Mesozoic era, favorite yata na, ng mga sudyante ko to dati eh. Yes. It's the middle line. Ang dami nilang alam tungkol dito. 
Dami Meso na lang. Week, okay. Kasi mga fans okay. ata ma'am ng ano eh, ng mga sci-fi movies natin like yeah. Jurassic Park, represent- Jurassic World. Yes po. Represents the age of dinosaurs though. Uh, also networking for the first appearance of the mammals and mammals. flowering plants. plants. Okay? So, uh, the eras divided into period the Mesozoic divided into ano, Triassic, the cycle, the first dinosaurs, and then the first birds, dito sa Jurassic, and Cretaceous, modern seed-bearing plants, and dinosaurs. Marami na dyan ang exist na sa. Ayan, ito yung Mesozoic era. Yes, paano kaya kung present pa sila ngayon? Eh di mas magulo ang mundo. Nakakatakot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Pero sabi ko minsan pagpapasok ako sa classroom ko na medyo ang gulo-gulo, ayan na naman si na, na, uh, na Nasa Mesozoic era. Na pangalan, yes. <laughs> Nasa Mesozoic era yata ako sa classroom na to. Uh, mga panahon na face-to-face pa, no? ang saya-saya, uh, saya. Ayun na naman ako. Yes. Oh, hindi ko na sila nakikita. Hindi ko na nakikita. Malapit na tayo dun, ma'am. Praying. Okay. Malapit na tayo dun. So, next is the Cenozoic Era. The new life is sometimes life. called the age of mammals. Okay? Cenozoic Era tayo. And then, the Cenozoic Era divided into period quaternary and tertiary. The rise of mammals dito sa tertiary. And then, sa quaternary, the rise of men. By the way, yung ano natin, the Holocene is when the human civilization arose. Okay? Uh, epoch and, uh, Holocene, Holocene is when the uh, human civilization arose. Dito po sa epoch of Holocene. Okay, so next, Cenozoic era, it gives rise to the early primates. Oh, ayan, kita na yung evolution. So, the, ano, it gives rise to the early primates. And, di ba sir, ito yeah. yung, ano, yung mga link kung saan nandito yung the most up-to-date professional version of the time scale produced by the Geological Society of America. You can download it at Ayan po, mm-hmm. geosociety.org. Documents or uh, GSA time scale. Okay. Pasugin na lang mga anak. Nandyan po you yung latest. A screenshot of this uh, links, no? If you want to uh, read it further, no? Kasi medyo limited yung time natin. Although we gave, Tutor Jules gave you already the overview of the different eras. The Paleozoic, the Mesozoic, and our Cenozoic uh, era. Ayan. So you can explore more and learn more on this particular websites and documents. Ayan. I okay. think we're now starting learning that. Okay. So, for the I know, first activity, identify the term described by the given statement. Select your answer from the word pool below. So, choose geological record, uh, relative dating, absolute dating, archaean, eons, Cenozoic, Holocene, Paleozoic, Dinosaur, Sedimentary, or Devonian. So, number mm-hmm. one, it is where Remind all traces from... Remind lang natin sila, Sir Jules, ha? Remind lang ato, please, pag nag-comment, uh, identify yung item number plus your answers. Okay? Yes. Don't forget, mga anak, ha? One is where all traces of history of Earth is recorded in rocks that make up the crust. Okay? mag ako. Shout out muna ako. Yes. Shout, Shout out tayo, ma'am. Habang nag-iisip na ng sagot, naka-flash okay. na dyan yung item number one, naka number two. Yes. Hello, Patrick. Good afternoon, anak. John Patrick Legaspi. Ayan. 11- First owner Hello. talaga. Oh, grabe. Nicole <laughs> Sanarda. Ayan. Nasaan pa ang iba? Okay, Jamaica yeah. Dela Cruz. Ay, mabilis kasi, sir. Hindi ko... Mm-hmm. May mga sumasagot na, meron, na po. May no? sagot na, sir. May sagot na agad, sir. Eh, hindi pa ako <laughs> yeah. nakapabate. Ano ba yan? To shout out. Hindi Hello, ko na nakita. Hello, record for number one. Pa- Aurora number two? Senior High School. Okay. Again, uh, Daniel, oh, sige, mamaya na mga anak. So, number one, it's geologic, geologic record. Geologic record. Okay, Ayan. so number, number two, two na tayo. It is it a is way, way on how the age of rock and fossils can be determined by its numeric value. Yan, pwede na ako. Mm-hmm. So, sige, hintayin natin ang akal. Jones Rural Wisconsin. School. So, Jones Rural School, Jamaica Rose Ann. Sino yun? Si Jamaica Rose Ann. Numeric yun, value. Yun. Okay, ang teacher niya si Ma'am IB. Hello Ma'am IB. Yes, nakarami na si Ma'am IB. So, number two is number two ayun, sedimentary uh, age of rock. 
The age of rock, ano? The, the age ba? of rock can be determined by its numeric value. It's absolute Ayan. dating. Bakit absolute sedimentary? Dating? Ah, yung rock. Age of rock. Akala nyo yun sedimentary. It is a way on how the age of rock and fossils can be determined by its numeric value. Diba? A specific, ano? A specific age of rock. Okay? Absolute dating. Ah, medyo balikan natin yung absolute dating na yan. Kasi may mga mm-hmm. sagot. Ayan, absolute dating naman yung mga sunod-sunod. Uh, yung nauna okay. lang kasi yung ano ko. Okay, let's have number three. It is the largest division and geologic time scale. So, what is the largest division based from the discussion? Sige, balik ako. Sige, sabitan na lang po. From, ano, from Aurora Senior High School, SDO Isabela, 11 Amber, Sir Leo Angel Aba. Nakadalawa na rin si Sir Leo. You may also okay. post your answer na for number four, ha? It refers to the rocks that are deposited and used in dating method. Anong klase? Ito yung rock na tinahanap natin kanina. <laughs> yes. Pwede nang ano, pwede nang sagutan rin yung number four. Ha? Yes. And eto, sa late, nasa na yung late? Can, Hindi ko pa to na, ano to. Mark Jenry Napoles. Hello, Mark Jenry Napoles. Uh, 11 ABM. Edison Conception National High School Division of Late. Yeah. Parang hindi ko pa siya naanay. Oo, oh, bagong school, last sir. Week, may may last bago week, tayo. Oh, last week, manood na rin sila. They started okay, their so, preparing on our session. PM kita later, anak. So, number three, the correct answer is Eon. You're right, OEG. Eon, you're right. Ano, Patrick. John Ray. Sino ba itong mga ito? No, uh, Reggie. Okay, very good. Ganun. Let's have number four. It refers to the rock that are deposited and used in dating method. Meron na bang number four? Meron na po. Sedimentary. Yan, sedimentary rock. So next, rock. let's correct. number five. So it is used to determine the geological events in rock strata. So the mm-hmm. geological events in rock strata. What is number five? Okay. And number six, Ayan, si, ang favorite si, nating ano? mga reptiles. It refers okay, to the prominent reptiles then. that evolved during the Mesozoic era. So, pwede namang ano, sa isang comment, dalawang sagot nyo na. Kung kayang-kayang sagutin, di ba? Oo. Kaya lang, uh, yeah. nadidelay nga rin, sir. Ayun. Okay, uh, uh, from Romel M. Yeah. Suyat of, uh, Romel Suyat of Aurora Senior High School, SDO. Saan na? <laughs> Nawala. <laughs> Nawala. Okay lang po, maka ma-recall naman natin okay, yung pag-inood natin. Okay, the answer is oh, from Tumawini National High School. Very good, Diana. The, uh, number five. That is relative, relative dating. dating. Right, Lasam. Tama, tama si Lasam. Lasam lang yung nabasa ko. And then may sagot na rin yung number six si Prieto. John Wayne Prieto. Hindi ko alam kung saan school ng batang to. Dinosaurs. Okay, natapos. Dinosaurs. Na. Okay, next. Let's have number seven. The fitting Ayan. of supercontinent Pangea happened in this era. Saan ba yun? Or kailan ba yun? The fitting of supercontinent Pangea happened in this era. And number eight, What? the present human evolved during this age. Okay, seven and eight. Pwede nyo nang sagutan. So, shout out watching from Aurora. Senior High School. Senior High School. Advisor. Uy, pabati daw sa advisor niya. Sir Leo. Nakata-arami na si Lahat na yata. Ano, angel. Tapos, bear na mercado. Lahat na yata ng, ano, ng klase ni Sir Leo. Nandito na. Okay, <laughs> Making some so, noise and of course, learning with okay. us. Number seven. The correct answer is number seven. Yan, number seven. Tutor Jules and Kanina. Ayan. That is so, that during the Spanish Zoe. Okay. Si Alea Chavez got the correct answer. Then, who else? Ayun, si Chloe Chloe. Okay, si Chloe Chloe. Tama rin. Kaya lang bakit Chloe Chloe kaya? Then, Napoles and Salvador. Let's have number eight. The, the present human evolved during this age. Okay, number eight na tayo mga anak. Cenozoic. Um, ano? Cenozoic. What's another answer? Cenozoic silang lahat. Uh, Mas nga, particular. Hindi. hindi uh, it is, ano? Uh, A smaller part ano, ng Cenozoic, uh, yes. Part din siya ng Cenozoic, pero specific uh, sa epoch siya. Eh, epoch, yes. 
Okay. So, Ayun, tama na. Ayun, that is all the same. Esther Ninos, you got the correct answer. Yan. Followed by Katap, Andres. Ayan, sunod-sunod na sila. Very good. And then number nine, it refers to the age of fishes. Yan. Naano ko yan kanina sa mga cartilage fish. Nag-exist sila. It refers to the age of fishes. So, that is number nine for number ten. Ancient bacteria and blue-green algae existed. During, During this age, dalawa. So, number nine na tayo. Yung iba, nasa number eight pa rin, tama. Si Nicole, nakahabol. Medyo malayo kasi si Nicole, ganun ba yun? Or malakasin ang internet mo to. Nasa bandang dulo yung eight nila eh. <laughs> now, we are now in number nine. Yan, pagalingan ng school to. Number nine, sana ba yun? Age of fishes. Yun. So, mm-hmm. it refers to the age of fishes, nasa age. That is, ah, dapat yun, na uh, identify na natin. So, the correct answer, Devonian. 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 Si Jaiseline uh, Vanessa si... Cornejo. Correct. Yeah, You're correct. Good. Let's have number 10. The ancient bacteria and blue-green algae existed during this age. Number 10 tayo. Devonian, Devonian. Ayan. So, number 10, Archaean by uh, Daniel Hammer. The Okay. So, very good. Ayan, Zern Colleen is correct. Arkean for number 10. Ayan. Man, I think we're Salamat done with our na. learning task. Thank you. So we're still uh, having our final map for this week, week number 6. And map number 3, uh, we will be discussing about the geologic processes and hazards. So kanina, uh, Tutor Jules brought you to the past. Of course, syempre kailangan minsan, di ba, ang mga past, di ba, Tutor Jules, somehow kailangan pa balikan. Because we learn from the past, <laughs> and of course, as, right? yes, <laughs> and of course, sa mga baka may humugot sa comment. Baka naman na. papasok na naman si X Jan, ha? Papasok na naman si uh, X Jan. <laughs> FYI, hindi naman, lahat harapin, merong X, ha? Yes, harapin natin ang kasalukuyan with our milk number three. Ayan nga, geologic processes and hazards. Let's have the next slide po, Ma'am Jules. So define muna natin what is geologic process. So when we say geologic processes, these are the naturally occurring events. So parte siya ng paninirahan natin sa ating planeta. Of course, it naturally happens. That can or directly or indirectly impact the geology kung paano mag-move ang ating planeta. Of course, this includes different processes like, of course, the, the, the movements of the plates, yung mga diniscuss natin like weathering, deposition, erosion, and ngayon, we discuss natin about earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, ayan. So those are some of the examples of the geologic processes. And of course, these processes affect every human on Earth. Kasama ka dun. Kaya kailangan, very important na pinag-aaralan ito. At sa next week naman, Tutor Jules, no, tuturuan natin sila kung paano maghanda sa mga different hazards na ito. And these threatening processes are called natural disasters. So mga disasters na yan, syempre, kailangan paghandaan na. Let's define now what are or what is a geologic hazard. So pag sinabi nating hazard, ayan, kakabit ng hazard is, of course, danger, di ba? Panganib, ayan. A geologic hazard is an extreme natural event in the crust of the earth that poses a threat sa, sa buhay natin and of course sa mga different properties natin. It can also be defined as a large-scale complex natural uh, events that happen on land. So these hazards can cause immense damage as shown in the picture. No? So we have volcanic eruptions, earthquakes. In other parts of the world, ayan, lumalambot ang lupa. May mga uh, occurrences ng sinkholes sa mga polar areas. We have avalanches, yung gumaguho yung mga snow. Ayan. And of course, sa Pilipinas, just recently, no, uh, nung Typhoon Marine, marami tayo nakakalungkot no? sa, sa northern Luzon. May mga naapektuhan tayo na landslide. So the unpredictable nature of natural geologic hazards makes us, uh, makes this the uh, yung pag-identify, pag-evaluate at saka mitigation. Ayan. Very challenging nga lang. Kaya nga integrate ang nakakatuwa sa course ng senior high school. Very integrated ang subject ng disaster readiness. That's sobrang kailangan natin uh, right now. Next po. Ayan. So let's have a, this quick uh, learning activity. So favorite natin lahat ang mag-arrange ng jumbled letters. So may clue yes. na kayo dyan. So may picture. Tapos uh, mayroon pa yung description. Okay. Yes po. While I'm uh, while waiting po tayo sa sagot nila, Sir, uh, from ano, Christine Lambawan Guzman. 
uh, mm-hmm. of 12 amethysts from Tumawini National High School. Bagong teacher to Sura, Ma'am Joan Magallones. Yan. Good afternoon po. You're watching Senior High School Earth and Life Science. Ayan. May sagot na, sir. Adrian, you're correct. That is ground shaking or yung pagyanig okay. ng gita. That's correct. Let's yeah. show the second picture. Ayan, medyo may konting ano dyan. Ayan. So it presents yeah. giant waves caused by volcanic eruptions. Ayan, usually sa mga news, uh, yung mga nasa nakaharap or malapit sa Pacific Oceans like the Philippines, ayan, Japan is always experiencing. And that is what we call the El, uh, uh, Elija. Ayun, ang bilis. <laughs> She's uh, wait lang, sir. Uh, may bagong school ulit. Ann Almayan, baka sakaling makakausap natin ito later. Chef, yung baka pinagkawitan INHS SDO Lipa City. Miss Sherry yes, Lat. Okay, later uh, enough. Nakalista na yan sa ating mga yeah, learner, learning partners. And our so, answer is correct. Answer. Are all correct. Ayun, may mga Tsunami. Sa yes. Next is, of course, it happened when soil liquefies during ground shaking. Ayan, lumalambot ang lupa. So I'll give you a clue. The first letter is L and it ends with letter N. So L, start and then N. Cristel Jimenez, mm-hmm. Padre Garcia National High School. Anak, uh, may sagot ka. Uh, sino yung ano mo? Sinong teacher mo, anak? Pakitay kung sinong teacher mo, ha? Okay. From, ano, Padre Garcia National High School. Saang place yan? Tsaka yung teacher mo. Thank you, Cristel. And the answer is... The answer is, na na? Okay. okay. Ayan. Meron na po si Bayer. Si Bayer. So the correct answer is Ilinuel. Ayan, very active yan lagi. Liquefaction. Thank you for answering. Ayan, pwede pang humabol. And of course, the Ayan. last, I think, last diagram po natin. Ayan, na nakakalungkot kasi marami tayong mga bundok dito sa Pilipinas. Ayan, so we are very prone. Some of the areas in the Philippines are prone to this geologic hazard. It describes the movement of a mass of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. Ayan. Okay, uh, hang on sir, kay Jamaica de la Cruz, nasan na yung kay Jamaica? Pa-shout out ma'am and sir, meron siyang gustong bayit batiin, nasan ka na ba Jamaica? Ang bilis naman Jamaica. Hindi ko na mahanapan si Jamaica. Si teacher niya daw, shout out po, ma'am Ivy Gabehan from Jones Rural School. Okay, shout out po, ma'am Ivy Gabehan. Hello po, Jones Rural School. Let's show the answer na ma'am. We're running out of time na po. Yes, po. <laughs> so we have... <laughs> Landslides. Ayan. So we have a landslides, of course. Very, we have to be careful. Mamaya, didiscuss natin yan isa-isa to per Jules, no? Let's have the next All right. So as we all know, earthquake is the shaking or trembling of the earth that is volcanic or tectonic in origin. So you have learning grade 10, no? Pag sinabing volcanic, ang earthquake, uh, after match siya, after siya, nangyayari siya, every after, mag- nagkakaroon na, explosive volcanic eruption. Pag sinabi naman tectonic, it is caused by the movements of our tectonic plates. So, other information would be earthquakes can also happen under the ocean and of course, it can cause uh, giant waves called tsunamis. Next book. Ayan. So, one of the, two of the recent earthquakes, ma'am, no? So, this happened last October 2019 sa southern Philippines, sa the left side. And of course, as uh, early part ng 2020, ayan, noong uh, nagkaroon ng uh, pag-alboroto si Taal Volcano, uh, earlier part ng 2020, one of the earliest challenges natin during the, the year 2020. So, as we have seen, uh, maraming naapektuhan, maraming buhay ang nawala, and of course, may mga uh, facilities tayo, mga establishment na medyo gumupo, ganyan, na nag-cause, of course, ng different disasters. And of course, ang focus ng ating uh, talakayan for this afternoon would be the five earthquake hazards. And what are those five? So we have ground shaking. Next is the surface faulting, followed by landslide. And we also have liquefaction. Ayan yung mga describe natin sa activity kanina. And finally, we have tsunami. Sige, isa-isahin natin. Define natin ang uh, bawat hazard na ito. Uh, ground shaking is both a hazard created by earthquakes and can be a trigger for other hazards such as liquefaction and landslides. Since they are actually occurring as Earth's crust, as we have defined earlier, 
kumbaga, yung mga hazards na ito to produce ay related sa isa't isa. They are uh, interrelated or connected. So that's the first, ground shaking. Next po ay surface faulting. So from the word surface, surface ng earth, as fault, mga bitak no, fault is uh, a displacement that reaches the earth's surface during a slip along a fault. So may mga active faults tayo sa Philippines. Ayan, so we'll know more about uh, determining faults sa ating week number 7 na, na session. So it commonly occurs with uh, shallow earthquakes, those with an epicenter less than 20 kilometers. Ayan, so the third one is of course landslide. Ito yung medyo nakakalungkot no ma'am. Ayan, kasi I have been in Baguio, nakita ko yung efforts nila sa pag pagre-reforest ng kanilang mga kabundukan doon. Pero there are still areas na Medyo lumalambot na nga lupa. So, landslide is defined as the movement of a mass of rock, debris, or earth down a slope. So, landslides are a type of mass wasting. If you could recall, sa ating mga earlier discussion, di ba, we discussed about mass wasting, yung downslope movement ng lupa and rocks under the direct influence of gravity. gravity. So that is landslide. Next po, ma'am. Ayan. So, we have the term called liquefaction. So, from the word liquefy. Parang nagli-liquid, imbis na solid siya originally, somehow nagiging to liquid siya. Describes the way in which soil liquefies during ground shaking. Ayan, no? So interrelated siya or connected siya sa ground shaking. And this is a hazard because it can cause the, ayun nga, pwedeng gumuho ang mga buildings. Ayan, can cause, uh, un can undermine the foundation and supports of buildings. Bridges, pipelines, mga roads natin, di ba? So medyo malaking ano talaga to, malaking hassle kapag yes. we are experiencing uh, disaster, we are experiencing this kind of natural disasters. And then finally, we have the tsunamis or the Japanese word which means harbor waves. So these are giant waves caused by earthquakes or volcanic eruptions under the sea. Ayan. So it can also kill, it's a hazard, it can cause a uh, death tsaka loss ng mga properties natin. So those are the five earthquake hazards. I think we are now ready for the, the discussion of the five volcanic eruption hazards. So sa Metro Manila, hindi naman tayo affected directly. Pero minsan kapag pumuputok ang mga volcanoes nearby, the nearest would be Taal Volcano, di ba? If you would remember, biglang nauso yung mga pagsusuot natin ng face mask, di ba? So yun na pala. Ang kasagod na pala nun, COVID-19 pandemic na. So, ayun po. We just have to be uh, aware sa uh, nangyayari sa atin. So, these are the first two volcanic eruption hazards. So, when we say tepra, tepra is a Greek word which means uh, ash. Yung volcanic ash na nire-release ng ating mga volcanoes. It pertains to any pyroclastic fragments. So, the word pyro means uh, fire. A Greek word for fire. So, yung fragments na tinutukoy ni Sir John is yung mga... A piraso ng bato na ine-eject, of course, coming from the inside of our planet. That's tepra. Next, we have the pyroclastic flow, which is defined as the fast-moving flow of solidified lava pieces, volcanic ash, and hot gases. Ito yung nakikita natin sa mga news minsan, no, na talagang iniiwasan natin. Yung mabilis na pagbulusok, sama-sama na may lava, volcanic ash, sobrang very magiging parang zero visibility nga to the Jews. And of course, it involves hot gases. And according to my research, no, napakainit nito. Uh, it's, it can uh, reach up to great uh, more than 800 degrees Celsius. That's why it's a hazard. So very delicate ito. Kaya nga, uh, sa mga areas na malapit sa vulkan, like sa Mayon Volcano, the most active volcano in the Philippines, na nagtayo na ng parang permanent danger zones, I think sa Taal Volcano rin. So because of these hazards. And of course, we're familiar with lahar and flood. So this is related with tepra and pyroclastic flow. This time naman, nakahaluan kasi ng element ng water. So we define lahar kasi. Lahar, by the way, is an Indonesian word, which means uh, a hot or cold mixture of water. Tapos ito na nga, rock, rock fragments that flows the slopes of a volcano and typically enters a river valley. So dati, di ba, uh, Shutor Jules, 1990s, di ba, uh, naging... Uh, ang Central Luzon nang pumutok ang Mount Pinatubo. Ayan. So we are, uh, they are very affected with the lahar. And of course, we also have lava domes. Pag sinabi naman natin lava domes, these are caused or described as a viscous magma being erupted effusively onto the surface and then piling up around the vent. So meron kasi tayong dalawang klase ng eruption na sa geology. No? So meron tayong eruptive 
or explosive, yung talagang very violent, so sabaw talaga siya. So pag sinabi naman na nating uh, effusive na eruption, so medyo uh, medyo quiet type, ito yung lalabas lang slowly yung lava. So it, it, dito na perform ang tinatawag natin na lava domes. Bakit, bakit siya naging hazard? Kasi yung mga lava domes, kapag nag-pile up yan na ipon, eventually kapag uh, maitutulak siya or may push down siya, pwede siyang, uh, yun nga, pwede siyang maka-cause ng death or makapag-destroy din ng mga property. So that is lava domes. And finally, we have poisonous gases. Kapag, di ba, pumuputok ang Taal Volcano, we're very affected here. Speaking of sa mga, ano, sa mga kapitbahay natin sa Metro Manila, no? so we are advised, by the fee books na, and of course the Department of Health to, to, to wear our face mask kasi nga ang poisonous gases na yan like primarily our sulfur dioxide kaway-kaway sa mga may asthma medyo mahina ang baga, very affected sila dyan, ayan, and other gases na nakaka interfere sa normal breathing nating mga tao like carbon monoxide ayan, so recall lang natin Shooter Jules, these are the volcanic eruption hazards, tephra pyroclastic flow Lava domes and poisonous gases. Ayan. So we are studying this para at least maging aware tayo. At the same time, awareness, hindi yun humihinto or it doesn't stop sa awareness. Kailangan may gawin tayong tama or something. So recalling lang, yung sinabi ni, ni Sir Tony kanina na first challenge natin during the early part of 2020, bago pa ang COVID-19 pandemic, nag-alboroto nag ang ating uh, Taal Volcano, di ba? And medyo na, nag-trending din tong photo na ito, Shooter Jules, if you could remember, na parang end of the world na daw kasi parang bakit may mga ganyang lightning. Actually, nag-react lang naman yung mga particulates na ineject ng Taal Volcano. That's why it created a certain spark or lightning. So, ayan. So, awareness. And it doesn't stop there. Kailangan maging prepared tayo. And that would be our uh, main discussion for next week. And of course, sa mga mahilig mag-museum, kanina, we, we discussed about or we talk about fossils, di ba? Mga ka-ELS, ayan. So share ko lang tong napakagandang website na ito, Shooter Jules. So they can go to naturalhistory.si.edu. You can take the screenshot of this, yung sa National Museum of Natural History, sponsored by the Smithsonian sa USA to. Ayan, we have, they have different galleries. Kapag mahilig kayong... Uh, tumingin, um, pero yung pwede yung tignan, virtually, sa so, mga computers sa inyo, tsaka sa mga gadgets, mga fossils, mga examples, para mas ma-appreciate nyo pa yung uh, past or yung history ng ating planeta. Kasi, di ba, uh, medyo limited pa tayo sa pagpunta sa mga museums. And of course, next slide na po. Ayan, bagong segment natin to, Shooter Jules. Ang gagawin nila is, ayan, para at least meron pang more engagement, ayan, So, we will be having our first ELS question of the week. So, ito, napaisip ako talaga dito eh, Dr. Jules. Why can't we find dinosaur fossils in the Philippines? So, bakit nga ba walang nakitang dinosaur fossils? We are free Filipin Filipinos are fans of dinosaurs. Oh, very, ano, anak ko, mahilig sa mga dinosaurs. So, pero bakit walang dinosaur fossils? So, you can take a research, online research, basa kayo ng mga books. Tapos, send nyo sa amin ni Shooter Jules ang inyong sagot sa aming Facebook page, Itola ELS with Shooter Tony and Shooter Jules. Tapos pipili tayo ng mga top answers na i-feature natin next week. Ayan, screenshot nyo na ha. Again, why can't we find dinosaur fossils in the Philippines? Let's proceed with our final assessment. Okay, for the assessment, what is the main reason why the Philippines has suffered from numerous geologic processes and calamities hello so is it a its economic status b its location or ring of fire c philippines is third is a third world country something to do with the human population okay what is your answer it's letter b you're right paris and nicole Paris and Nicole, it's letter B. Kate Meets, you're right. Gonzaga, Chris, uh, uh, Jamaica de la Cruz B, you're right. Luigi, you're right. Natalia, okay, it's letter B. Let us proceed to number two. Which of the following hazards undermine the foundations and supports of buildings, bridges, pipelines, and roads, causing them to sink into the ground, collapse, or dissolve? Is it eutrophication? B. Ground shaking. C. Liquefaction. 
the pyroclastic flow. Again, which of the following hazards undermine the foundations and support of buildings, bridges, pipelines, and roads causing them to sink into the ground, collapse, or dissolve? Number two, it's letter C. You are right, Nicole Yapor, Perez Janet, and Luigi Echebarria. Okay, you're right. Camps, John Anthony Camps, letter C. And for number three, a natural physical process becomes a natural hazard when the process becomes A, scary, B, faster than usual, B, dormant and inactive, D, extreme and unpredictable. So what is your answer yeah, for number three? <laughs> for number three, the correct answer is... Ayan, wala pa. Uh, medyo bumagal. Okay, walang number yung sagot mo, Danilin. Write the number. The correct answer is letter D, Nick, Nick Ivan Rebamba. Got the correct answer. Okay, very good na. Right. Thank you, Tutor Jules. Medyo nawala ako. Pasensya na po. <laughs> okay lang po, sir. Hindi ko nga naramdaman na nawala ka, sir. Eh. Okay, it's your turn. And for now. our hashtag, be inspired, be blessed, bilisan lang natin. Life is divided into three terms, sabi ni William Wordsworth. No? So let us learn from the past, sinasabi natin kanina, to profit by the present, and from the present, to live better in the future. So syempre, good, better, and of course, we become our best version of ourselves. And tatandaan natin mga senior high school learners and uh, so we'll become the better and of course the best version of ourselves every day. And don't forget, ayan po, maraming salamat sa Region 4A Calabarzon. And don't forget to support our hashtag Team Mahusay Subjects for Senior High School Science first semester. And uh, for your feedback, please scan the QR code or you may proceed to tinyurl.com slash 2 e to life feedback form. I hope you enjoyed our learning session for week number six, Tutor Jules. Maraming salamat po sa pagsama sa amin. If you have comments or suggestions, please message edpeg at depe.gov.ph. Uh, susunod na po, Tutor Kat and Tutor Zai for MIL and then Tutor Wendy and Tutor Eric for Gen Bio 1. Once again, this is Tutor Tony from SDO Quezon City. See you kita kids next week. Hello. Bye-bye. Yeah. Salamat. God bless.